And now let's proceed with the last topic, the C program development environment. C systems generally consist of several parts, a program development environment, the language, and the C standard library. C programs typically go through six phases to be executed. These are the edit, preprocess, compile, link, load, and execute. Phase one is creating a program or what we call edit. This is the time that you create or edit a C program using an editor. You make corrections if necessary, then store the computer program on a secondary storage device, such as a hard disk. The C program file names should end with the .c extension. Phase 2 and 3 are pre-processing and compiling a C program. Once you are done with editing, you now give the command to compile the program. So in a C system, a preprocessor program executes automatically before the compiler's translation phase begins. The C preprocessor obeys special commands called preprocessor directives which indicate that certain manipulations are to be performed on the program before compilation. These manipulations usually consist of including other files in the file to be compiled. In phase 3, the compiler translates the C program into machine language code, also known as the object code, and stores it on disk. So the compiler translates the C program, which is the high-level language, into a machine language code, which is also referred to as object code. Phase 4, we have linking. The C programs typically contain references to functions defined elsewhere, such as in the standard libraries. We are now going to link the standard library with our C program. The standard library serves as references to the functions that we are using. So therefore, in a C standard library, there are several functions. And these functions, before we could use them, we have to link the library where they belong to. Phase 5 is loading. Before a program can be executed, the program must first be placed in the memory. This is done by the loader, which takes the executable image from disk and transfers it to the memory. Take note that when we say disk, we are referring to the secondary storage unit or the hard disk. And when we say transfer it to memory, we are referring to the primary memory, which is a short-term memory, which functions with the CPU. And lastly, the phase six is the execution. So finally, the computer under the control of its CPU takes each instruction and executes the program one instruction at a time, possibly storing new data values as the program executes. So the figure that you see on screen is a typical C development environment. We have first is to edit the program. If we are editing, we are using an editor. That means whenever we save it, it is saved on a secondary storage device or what we call the hard disk. We should save it with an extension name of .c. And once that we are done editing our computer program, pre-processing and compiling is done. But for it to function well, there should be a link between our C program linked in a specific standard library that we use. And before the program can be executed, the program must first be placed in memory. Once it is placed in the primary memory, the CPU functions. So this is what we call the execution. When the CPU controls what happens, when the CPU takes each instruction and executes the program. So that ends the C program development environment topic. So that ends this video and I hope you have learned from the introductory part of this programming course. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this video.